Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Moore, and I'm the support engineer here at Adventure Pilot. I'm going to take a few moments to show you how to update your iFly 700 online. Um, I'll be using Firefox, but feel free to follow along using Internet Explorer, and I'll give you directions to download your updates that way as well. So to get started, go ahead and open either Firefox or Internet Explorer. And in the navigation bar, go ahead and type in iFlyGPS.com. And once you're on our main website, uh, this is a good time to go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive to your computer. And then click on Login for me. Okay, and once you're logged in, you should see your display name at the top and log out to the right of that. Go ahead and go to Updates and then Create Update Package. What's in Create Update Package, you'll have a list of potential updates for your iFly 700. If you just recently purchased your iFly within the last couple weeks, don't worry about this page. You have the most current charts. Uh, but if it's been a little longer since you've updated your iFly, go ahead and go through and you'll, you'll see that there's new updates available as of and it gives you the date. So f feel free to add anything you need. And I'll just give you a run through here. Um, Airport Nav A database. Um, the new database was available as of January 5th, 2011. So if it's been a while, go ahead and update. Same with the software. We've made that available as of December 7th, 2010. Sectionals. New sectional maps as of January 4th. You can go through and select any of the maps that you need. Or if you go down to where it says display new sectionals released within the previous, we have a, the, we've given you the ability to select between 7 and 365 days. So if you need to go back, um, and, and select any maps from the past you can or you can just stay current and use these and that's that's the same with the terminal area charts for this example I'll just click on one just to show you how to update the terminal area charts are are the same you know it shows new maps as of January 4 2011 you can go through and select any that you need plates and diagrams like I said if you just recently purchased your iFly you'll have the latest plates and diagrams but if we've released a, a new version since you know your purchase or if you haven't downloaded in a long time, you can go ahead and select any of the states that you fly into or that you that you may need for your trip. If you're an IFR pilot, we have low route charts available. As you can see, we have some valid from January 11th to th uh, March 10th, 2011. And what you can do is you can click on a new pop-up map of the mainland. And Using this, you can go through and select the different zones that you, you may need to download. So, like for the Dallas area, I'll need zone L17. So I'll go down and I'll select L17. Feel free to select anything that you need and click Create Update Package. Bear in mind that the more that you select, the, the larger the file size of your package and the longer it's going to take for you to download. So, if you're, just a pi if you're a pilot that flies all around the United States, it might be a good idea to just break these updates into, into certain sections, you know, do just sectionals, do terminal area charts, and low on route charts, all in different updates. But that, that's completely up to you. So now we'll start the update process. I know I'm going a little quick here, um, but you can always go back and, and rewind. Underneath iFlyUpdatePackage.zip, where it has the little green arrow, right click next to it. And if you're using Firefox, click on Save Link As. If you're using Internet Explorer and you're following along, Click on Save Target As. This window is going to pop up, and it's basically going to ask you where you'd like to save this to. Now, I've downloaded a couple updates before, so it's going to default to my Kingston drive. But on yours, it might go to your desktop or your favorites folder. Scroll down right here underneath Computer and select your USB drive. If you click on Computer, you can also see underneath Devices with Removable Storage your USB drive listed. You can just double-click it. And click on save. Okay, and as you can see, our package is done downloading. We're just going to check. Go to start, computer, and then double click on your flash drive. And here we can see that the package is inside. So to eject it, we just go back to computer, click right here, right click on your flash drive, and then go to eject. And that's it. All you have to do now is unplug it and plug it in your iFly 700. Go to Menu and check for Update File. Thank you. Have a great day.